Hello YouTube. In this video we'll again be making glacial acetic acid, but this time we'll be using sodium hydrogen sulfate instead of the much more dangerous 98% sulfuric acid. First I'd like to point out that this is in no way my idea, but another YouTube user, AHW214's idea. Check out his channel if you get time. He does a lot of great chemistry for someone his age. To begin, weigh out about 100 grams of sodium hydrogen sulfate, also known as sodium bisulfate. I'm just using cheap pH decreaser used in pools, which is why it has all those small blue pellets in it. Not to worry, they don't affect the end product. Then get about 30 grams of anhydrous sodium acetate. Afterward, mix them together and then place them in a suitable distillation flask. Now set up for simple distillation and slowly bring up the heat. After a few minutes, the sodium hydrogen sulfate will start to melt and begin to react with the sodium acetate to form acetic acid. The acid will then boil over and recondense in the condensing column. You may have noticed that I'm not using stoichiometric amounts of my reactants. I found that this works much better if the low melting sodium hydrogen sulfate is in excess. If it's not in excess, I found that the sodium acetate will begin to decompose. Here's what mine looked like after I pulled it off after about 10 minutes of distillation. Now we need to test it. The easiest way to test acetic acid concentration is to react it with baking soda. If there's little to no reaction, you have very concentrated acid. If you get a strong reaction, you have a weak solution. I'm pretty sure this is concentrated just by the smell. As you can see, we get a very small reaction, indicating that we do have a very high concentration of acetic acid. The acid would probably have been even more dry had I not washed my glassware before distilling. I went ahead and added some water to lower its concentration and cause it to react more strongly. Anyway, this is a lot cheaper way of making concentrated acetic acid, not to mention a safer way. Thanks AWH214 for the idea, and thanks to everyone else for watching.